It's something from the experience that I've had. I've been building up my image for about 20 years. So, when I participated in the script, I thought the role would make up some chemistry, and I was looking for some films I could participate in, and one of them was Cold Eyes. I think the audience was quite surprised and quite welcoming as well, because I was playing in a role that I hadn't played before, and they loved the character I played. You talk about image and image being very important. Two decades as an actor now, you're also a former model. Are you frustrated with the fact that perhaps audiences, as you've mentioned, maybe pigeonhole you or stereotype you in terms of what they expect of you as an actor? My screen image at the moment is important for the fans, for the audience. But an actor can't really have one character that lasts his lifetime. The meaning for the actor is to break the mould by acting. And if the actor really wants to be an actor, then I think not to extend your repertoire is limiting your potential. Why, though, has it taken you 20 years to break that image? When I was younger, the films I used to watch were westerns, so I had this thing with justice. And in the era I was living in, there was no justice. There was fighting in school and Korean society wasn't able to solve that problem. And growing up in that environment, I think I had the meaning of justice. And I wanted to keep that character where they are really meaningful towards justice. The film about a hitman that's hired to assassinate an elderly man. This is your first uh, adventure into the realm of directing. Why did you want to go behind the scenes? Being an actor has taught me everything I know about acting and film. I didn't really attend acting school, so I studied acting by just making films. And I had this feeling that I was participating not just as an actor, but also as a crew member. I was also writing scripts and making suggestions to directors. Also, when I was younger, I wanted to say things that I felt were right by using film as my medium. I've tried directing music videos before, and at the Hong Kong Film Festival, I was offered the chance to participate in this new project as director. I hesitated at first. First, but then I took the offer. That's actually something I always wanted to do. Let's talk about the health of the Korean film industry at the moment, because that is where you have made your mark. Are you going to stay there, or do you have ambitions to perhaps go to Hollywood? I know it's the obvious question that many people ask of people that are not concerned with uh, cinema in America. But do you have ambitions that you want to perhaps cross borders there? <laughs> It's a choice for the individual, so I can't say what's right and what's not. I don't think the end destination for an actor is Hollywood. So as an actor, I think they can do well in their own country. And as for myself, I want to develop the Korean film industry and myself as a director. Working in Hollywood is a good opportunity for the actor to make himself well-known and, and be in a bigger market, but I don't think it should be the final destination for the actor.